Ali G. from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. HTTP colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org. Alistair Leslie Graham, or Ali G, is a satirical comic character invented and played by the British comedian Sasha Baron Cohen. Contents. 1. History. 2. Controversy. 3. Ali G in academia. 4. Origins of phrases used by Ali G. 5. Fictional background. 6. Famous people interviewed by Ali G. 7. Ali G quotes. 8. External links. Image caption. Ali G delivering the class day speech to the Harvard class of 2004. History. Ali G first appeared on Channel 4's 11 o'clock show as the Voice of the Youth. He interviewed various public figures in the United Kingdom who, too scared to appear uncool, were completely fooled by his idiosyncratic interview technique, based mostly on the simple stratagem of pretending to be stupid. One particularly memorable interview was with a fashion designer. He suggested that the wonder bra should be banned as it misleads men into thinking that a woman's breasts are larger than they are. He retold a story of having been disappointed when a girl he had pulled proved to have been wearing a wonder bra. He also asked his interviewee if he was pleased Gianni Versace was killed because it meant less competition, and he suggested that he'd heard a rumor that Calvin Klein did it. This was a clear satire on the feuding which followed the deaths of the rappers Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. Other examples of his style of interviewing include coaxing a bishop into saying that he believed God created the universe, and then asking, and since then he's just chilled? Ali G. then asked the bishop what God looks like, to which the bishop replied, well, he's sort of Jesus-shaped. Ali G. also suggested that film censorship should be done by a younger person who understands the crude terms being used. After asking James Furman whether a succession of his made-up vulgarities would make a film in 18. One public figure who was not taken in during a TV interview was the veteran socialist politician Tony Benn, who gave G. short shrift and berated him for his apparent ignorance. Ali G was featured in Madonna's music video for her song Music as the limousine driver, and subsequently recorded his own record with the reggae pop performer Shaggy. In 2001, Ali G hosted MTV Europe Music Awards in Frankfurt, Germany. In 2002, he was the central character in the feature film Ali G in the House, in which he became elected to the United Kingdom's Parliament and had to foil a plot to bulldoze a community center in his hometown of Staines. He is now the main character of HBO's The Ali G Show, which also features two other characters, Borat Sagdiev, a foreign correspondent from Kazakhstan, and Bruno, a fashion reporter for Austria's fictional gay TV. Ali G was recently featured in a series of ads for the 05 to 06 NBA season in which he uses his brand of off-kilter reporting to interview various NBA stars. The spots were directed by Spike Lee. Controversy Sasha Baron Cohen is not black himself, but because he portrays a character who purports misogyny, he has been accused by some of racism and of ridiculing black street culture. The West End premiere of Ali G in the House was met with anti-racist demonstrators protesting outside. However, others have suggested that the implication that black street culture is not a legitimate subject for parody is itself racist. His catchphrases, see below, suggest that Baron Cohen's character is an uneducated thug, and that the Tommy Hilfiger in Nike shoes add to the effect that he is a consumer whore. Ali G once mentioned his trisexual uncle, whose name was revealed as Jamal, 
a common Muslim name. This name is also common among people from an Afro-Caribbean background. Others, perhaps namely in the U.S., may see Ali G in the sense of an Eminem type cultural appropriator, or blatantly as a Wigger caricature. Harry Thompson, a former producer of the 11 o'clock show, has said that the character was given the name Ali G, so he would have a whiff of Islam about him. But Ali G's full name has been since revealed to be Alistair Leslie Graham. Image Caption Ali G is the main character of The Ali G Show. Ali G in Academia In recent years, the character has become central to academic discussion in British and American high schools and universities concerning topics related to a black urban subculture and social class-based differences. There is some question about whether one is expected to believe that the alias of Ali G is black or is, in fact, a parody of suburban white people who attempt to gain credibility by adopting the paraphernalia and language of black urban culture. Ali G's popular catchphrase, Is it because I is black? was used as the title of an Oxford University thesis, footnote 1, into black underachievement, with research published by BBC News and The Guardian. Ali G can also be seen as a commentary on the adoption of American black street culture by both non-Americans and non-blacks. Because Baron Cohen is a middle-class Cambridge University educated Jewish actor portraying a suburban, presumably middle-class Briton of undetermined extraction who is in turn styling himself on American street life, the show maintains a certain Victor Victoria quality. To many critics, Ali G is not satirizing black urban culture, but those non-blacks and non-urbanites who appropriate it. Ali G's behavior and clothing also parodies the UK junglist subculture of drum and bass listeners, and has many similarities to hip-hop culture. Origin of phrases used by Ali G The linguistic origins of the phrases used by Ali G are mixed. While many of his words are lifted intact from Jamaican English, there was a fashion among a number of schools in and around Notting Hill and Hammersmith in the 1980s for whites to speak as if they were ragamuffins. This appears to have been strongly influential on Ali G's phraseology. For example, I was at this safe party on Saturday night, and there was enough punani. See Wiggers. Fictional Background He is a gang member of the West Staines Massif, and lives with his grandmother in a two-story house at 36 Cherry Blossom Close in the heart of the Staines Ghetto. He was educated at what he calls the Matthew Arnold School. Staines is a middle-class town to the west of London that has been the butt of jokes for many years, and it is demographically very distant from the American inner-city ghetto that Ali G makes it out to be. Still, he believes himself to exemplify gangsta and wigger culture. Famous People Interviewed by Ali G MIT Professor Noam Chomsky Former National Security Advisor Admiral Brent Scowcroft Former Secretary General of the United Nations, Boutros Boutros Gallup. Political Commentator Pat Buchanan. Former U.S. Surgeon General C. Everett Coop. Andy Rooney of the CBS program 60 Minutes. Former FBI Director Thomas J. Pickard. Former Labor Politician Tony Benn. Real Estate Developer Donald Trump who shrugged him off after a few minutes because of Baron Cohen's apparent stupidity. Trump showed no interest in investing in Ali G's ice cream club idea. Buzz Aldrin, astronaut, whom Ali G referred to as Buzz Lightyear towards the end of the interview. Ralph Nader, former U.S. presidential candidate for the Green Party. Former U.S. Attorney General Dick Thornburg. Newt Gingrich former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Kent Hovind, 
a controversial creationist. David Beckham and Posh Spice. James Lipton, host of Bravo's Inside the Actors Studio. Gary Jones, chairman of the Oklahoma Republican Party. Former LAPD chief Daryl Gates. Author and essayist Gore Vidal, whom he confused with noted hairstylist Vidal Sassoon. DUP politician Sammy Wilson. Pulp singer Jarvis Cocker. Ali G quotes. Booyakasha! Is it Kazai's block? Bellend. Penis. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. A reference to the song Check Yourself, which appears on Ice Cube's album, The Predator. Couldn't it be argued that slavery is a bit racialist? Maximum respect. R E S T E C P. Misspelling of respect. Referring to the song with the same name, made famous by Aretha Franklin. But what's that got to do with the euthanasia? Malapropism for euthanasia. That is a very sexist way to talk about these bitches. Does Class A absolutely guarantee that they is better quality? Why don't they teach proper maths in schools? Why teach in kilos and grams when you should deal in ounces, quarters, and eighths? This is like what Mecca is to the Jews. This is like what Kentucky is to chickens. Describing the importance of the town leisure center. Is you one crack? What is you banging on about? Is Africa a member of the UN? When you arrived on the moon, was the people who lived there very friendly, or was they scared of you? Isn't it a coincidence that Jesus was born on Christmas Day? Is Disneyland a member of the UN? Why don't they just give them to charity, in reference to confiscated drugs? No wonder they couldn't find a room. It was Christmas. In reference to Mary and Joseph, part of his Christmas speech and interview with a bishop in 2002, purposely broadcast in the UK at the same time as the Queen's Christmas message. One in two people in the country is a woman. Which is the type of acid that actually makes you fly? Would you recommend using a Doritos bag if they can't get one, referring to a condom? I can nub 20 girls in about 15 minutes. There is a midget licking the girl's muff. And there are people around. Drugs is ruining people's lives. If there's fluff on the muff, she's old enough. Grow, baby, grow. You sucked off a horse, is that a yes or nay? That's not a nice way to talk about your mom. External links UK Ali G fan site The Ali G show on HBO Channel 4 Ali G website An article in The Guardian Ali G interviews NBA stars Sasha Baron Cohen interview with NPR's Robert Siegel. Ali G comes to America. Recognize. This article is included in the following categories. The Ali G Show. British television comedy. Ethnic comedy. Fictional comedy characters. Fictional English people. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.